We can find many interesting uses for this part of solar radiation from these stainless steel sheets, which were installed by me a few weeks ago. It is interesting that the spot can heat a black surface to a temperature higher than 190 degrees Celsius. We understand that the heating temperature will increase drastically if we cover the black surface with a transparent sheet, increase the thermal insulation under them and replace the black paint by selective coating. For several years I have been using similar solar concentrators for hot water supply, for home heating and for heating swimming pool water. In addition, similar solar concentrators are commonly used for district heating of cities, for generating a large amount of steam, for electricity production, for solar cooling or other purposes. Unfortunately, these widely known solar concentrators are very expensive and therefore it is difficult for them to compete with traditional energy sources or photovoltaic solar panels. That is why my YouTube channel is looking for cheap types of solar concentrators and this my concentrator is the next step of the search. This white screen will help us better see this part of solar radiation from my stainless steel sheets. We can notice that the height of the spot is less than 10 cm, while my stainless sheets have a total height of 170 cm. If we need a lower spot, we must use a different type of fixation of stainless sheets on a solar concentrator. For example, the stainless sheets of these solar concentrators focus the solar radiation more accurately than my concentrator. These stainless mirrors of my solar station are another example of the accurate focusing and I installed them three years ago. The mirrors consist of thin sheet of stainless steel which is fixed to this sheet of expanded polystyrene. Then the mirrors are fixed on this sheet of expanded polystyrene which has these wooden battens. Of course, there is an idea that those two polystyrene sheets between the stainless steel and these battens are redundant. Also, that polystyrene gives us the ability to accurately focus solar radiation. This my solar concentrator puts that idea into practice and we see that the stainless sheets are fixed on the wooden battens without the polystyrene. The battens fix with screws to this wooden board, which connects to this stake through this primitive hinge. This surface of the board has the shape of a parabola, also the focus accuracy will not deteriorate drastically if the shape is a circle. These are the screws which fix my stainless sheet on the battens and the free rotation of this washer tells us that the screws do not press the sheet tightly. The diameter of the holes in the stainless sheets is significantly larger than the diameter of their screws and therefore the sheets have a few millimeters of freedom for their shift. I remind you that such solar concentrators usually require constant changes in the position of their mirrors from morning to evening according to the movement of the sun across the sky. However, I use solar concentrators which do not require the changes in their position. Now I begin to show the movement of the spot from my immovable concentrator at different points in time of one day on 26th of September last year. I plan to describe several types of similar solar concentrators in the coming months and years and they do not require the changes in the position of their mirrors from morning to evening if they meet the following three conditions. First, this direction should be exactly along the west-east line. Secondly, the solar radiation receiver should be located here and it should have a height of about 40 or 60 cm. That is why this spot with a height of 10 or 20 cm is quite satisfactory for us, because it is several times smaller than the height of the receiver. Thirdly, sometimes we will have to change the vertical inclination of our solar concentrators and now I show how I change the inclination at my solar station. We must do it once in a few weeks or months and these photos show the difference between winter and summer inclination. This is stainless steel of this mark with a thickness of 400 microns and I bought these sheets for 12 dollars per square meter. However, we can calculate that the wholesale prices of similar stainless sheets are approximately 5 dollars per square meter. This table describes the cost of materials for the entire solar concentrator with these stainless sheets. 
We see that the total cost of materials is about $15 per square meter of mirror and it is a few dozen times cheaper than these solar concentrators. But this table does not take into account salaries and other costs of manufacturing and installing our concentrators. So, the stainless sheets form 80% of the total cost and this fact help us to see the economic sense of replacing these wooden parts with metal. Perhaps those replacements will increase the construction cost of our solar concentrator, but its lifespan will be longer and the focus accuracy will be better. We understand that our method of fixing the stainless sheets has some disadvantages and for example these screws and washers will prevent cleaning of the mirror surface of our stainless sheets. In addition, drilling these holes can be time consuming if we make them with an ordinary hand drill and not with a similar machine. We understand that our sheet fixing method does not yet have lengthy technical tests which should find drawbacks of the method. For example, perhaps edging of the wooden battens will reduce their length and therefore in a few years we will be forced to fix the screws to other points of the battens. It is also obvious that these intervals between the screws and between the wooden battens must match the maximum wind speed in your region. Now I am showing my stainless mirrors after three years of operation open air and we see that their reflective surface remains in good condition. In addition, we know that a similar covering of mirror stainless sheets remain in good condition for several decades. Perhaps wooden and other parts of the solar concentrator will also have a long lifespan because they are similar to this row of my solar station, which is made of pine and has been in operation for almost 5 years. I think its lifespan will be more than 10 years, but its weak point is these wooden stakes, which are rotting due to contact with the ground and therefore they need good antiseptic impregnation. We must pay attention to the fact that now the mirror sheets are almost vertical, but I am afraid that the horizontal or inclined position will noticeably worsen their focusing of solar radiation. That is why this of my experiments uses these steel strips with a thickness of 2 mm and they resist bending the thin steel sheet under own weight. We must pay attention to this upper additional wooden button and this lower additional button. This good focusing is possible thanks to those additional buttons, but now I am showing the focusing without them and here we see that the focusing has become worse. These parts are the result of manufacturing defect of the lower edge of my lower stainless sheet. We can slightly correct this shortcoming by installing that lower additional button and here we see its screws. This is the focusing after installing the lower button but before installing that upper additional button. These parts are due to the upper edge of my upper stainless sheet. I fix this flow thanks to the upper additional button and this is its screws. This gap tells you that the lower edge of my lower stainless sheet deviates slightly from the parabolic shape. However, this deviation improves the focusing and therefore it may be better to correct the shape. 